synced. Alrighty. I've been doing photography for about three years now, and I don't know why I didn't think of doing this sooner. Making a photo book. It's one of the best ideas I've ever had, by the way. I don't know why I haven't done it yet. This entire thing of ordering a photo book and putting it together has really revived my photography drive and motivation. Because after three years of doing this, even just three years of doing this, it really gets repetitive. Especially when you're just taking photos to put on social media and you're only concerned about the likes and the views. Putting my photos in a physical book really brings out this rustic, creative, and fulfilling side of photo that I haven't really experienced yet. In the past three months, I've moved from the social media side of things to the physical-based side of things because it really does bring out this entire new experience of photo, of making photos, not taking them. But so this is my 2023 portfolio book and I'll be doing a photo book every single year. If you want one, there'll be a link down in the description where you can get your own. Um, it's really cool. But if we open this thing, right, it's really, really fulfilling. Like I did um, a thing, a section of like where, what happened during this year. There's a lot happened and it goes through all the photos I've taken, taken and it's really nice physically seeing this. So I, I just want to go through this really, really quick. By the way, this was made with Blurb. That's their company. I'm not even sponsored by this, but they did a really good job printing everything, especially with colors and tones and all that type of stuff. I mean, physically looking at each photo is really rewarding because I can feel the atmosphere that this was taken. I mean, these photos right here were at Whiteface Mountain and I can still remember how freaking freezing it was trying to take these photos. I mean, and then we get the Portugal, which my highlight of this year, I'll be completely honest, was a complete highlight. Um, I tried to include as many photos as possible in this thing, but no, it, it gives this tangible feeling to photos instead of putting them on social media and expecting a lot of likes, which usually doesn't happen since the algorithm is always against you. This is rewarding on a self standpoint than rewarding to try to get you know, purpose from other people. These are two of my favorite photos right here. This was a biker, I believe, Nazarene. And this was also at the same castle, uh, one of my favorite photos of another photographer. This is a photo, one of my favorite photos ever that I've taken of a horse in Portugal. Physically on paper is such a rewarding feeling. But no, it, like I'm going through this and I'm thinking, that's insane, I did these things. And you can see from beginning to start the improvement I've made here look at that isn't that cool that's really cool I mean the lighting's not great but really freaking cool but no it's it, it, it gives me a way to do personal projects in a way personal passion project of making a photo book these were taken right before I went to college and you can tell that I've improved with the color grading on these it's such a good photo with color and you can see that I've improved with editing style I also have some of my works from college, like some waterfalls and stuff like that. Um, and then it also has documentation of the school works that I've done. So I can look back and I can see, hey, I took these photos and I'm really proud of them. Specifically in this, this year's photo book, at least. Um, some of the waterfall photos that I've taken that are really cool. Is it, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that sick? It's so cool. But no, one of the most fulfilling projects I did this year was my uh, human condition project. This, sure it was a school project, but it was a passion project as well. Um, I was going through a lot of stuff and I decided to express it through art. So we have like um, different faces and vulnerabilities and mental health things that you can see in these photos. And it really, it really blew up. Now I'm like, taking time to process this because I got this a couple like a week ago but I haven't fully like delved into it and talk about it it's really cool um and then Florida this was my last section of this year um really good quality photos of birds and, and it was a really cool look at that look at that right there isn't that cool with creating a photo book it gives a purpose to my photos um other than just likes or views it gives a personal purpose and a passion purpose to it. 
to make the photos for the sole purpose of remembering them from a moment really gives an entire different meaning. So, if you're a photographer, I really suggest doing this sooner than later because it is so rewarding. My best comparison of how this feels is hiking a mountain and getting to the top. I mean, you get to get to the top and look at all the stuff you've went through and gone through to get to the top. This is sort of like that, where you can look back and understand what was happening while you were taking these photos, the context of that day or that month, and kind of experience it a little bit more than posting it on social media and nothing happening. This is more of a personal fulfillment. Also, I just want to say, this lighting that I have nailed today, I'm really liking. And we're not going to talk about the setup right now. I'm literally on a bin board with my laundry holder in it underneath. So, this was a wing setup, but I think, I think it came out pretty well. I think so.